Your Grace! Father! Ah.
fade. <laughs> Resist all you want, you fools, but you're too late. <laughs> Let down. Sarvain for the traitor he was. All this time, he must have been after the night. Father, we need you to tell us what you know about it. The night, it is a terrible weapon, as you very well know. Yes. Seventeen years ago, Sarvain and I, uh, we set ourselves to the task of researching the White Knight that was excavated from the Dogma Rift. At first, we were convinced it was just a relic, something that belonged in a museum. But then, as we investigated further, we learned the awful truth. Uh, there was an infant found alongside the knight, and the boy's soul had been bound to the knight through some sort, some sort of pact. I decided there and then to place him and the other infants in the care of a man named Medius, and locked the white knight away deep beneath the castle. Sarvain, however, oh, he was firmly against it. He insisted we use the knight for the sake of Palindor. But I knew I could not allow that to happen. Inside the White Knight, I could sense an evil presence still lived on. That was when I asked Medius to find good homes for the children we found in the rift. They needed parents who would care for them, see that they lived in peace. Anything to prevent the knight's power from being put to ill purpose. So that's how it happened. Forgive me, Your Grace. I failed to protect you. You have nothing to be sorry for. You cannot shield me from fate. Father! Cyrus, my dear son, this belongs with you. What is it? A philosopher's insignia. It has been passed down through my family for generations. Be strong, you and Cisna both. Palindor is in your hands. I will. Rest assured.
the three insignia have been united. Now the Athwani Queen Murius can truly awaken. <laughs> A worthy opponent. Emperor Medoras, the stage is set. It shan't be long.